hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today uh, i will tell you uh, and very important information regarding dotnet 10 okay uh, what i today what i was i was trying to uh, install dotnet sdk in my pc and after the successful uh, installation of uh, dot sdk then usually uh, i just uh, download the sdk and uh, after the installation of uh, i just went to uh, uh, visual studio okay then uh, i choose the application project type is uh, sp dotnet web APIs. okay when i when uh, there is a internet drop down okay and uh, we, we just uh, usually select the dotnet version but uh, uh, the pro important thing is that there is no any menu available regarding dotnet 10 so i thought that uh, uh, maybe i must uh, make a mistake while installing of a sdk then i just uh, again download the sdk uh, and uh, right now i am using windows pc okay so after the ins installation i again went to this option and still there is no any option available regarding dotnet 10 so at this moment dotnet uh, 10 requires business rate 2026 like if you want to use dotnet 10 uh, for the production ready applications for the like if you want to use uh, dotnet 10 with extensive level okay then you must have a visual studio 26 but if you want to see the features of dotnet 10 so microsoft has already uh, created the sdk as, as release the sdk for uh, for the developers so so that uh, they can feel they can see the uh, dotnet 10 exclusive features and and can perform a hands-on practice regarding dotnet 10 okay so uh, i haven't seen and right now uh, i have installed uh, the release package okay so if uh, and uh, in the last video i have already told you that uh, if you want to use uh, dot visual studio 2026 so it means that uh, you have like like you will have to you will have required 64 GB of RAM with the 16 cores of CPU, which means that you have to upgrade your low end PC, low end devices, low end hardware. And uh, suppose if you want to uh, download and if you're trying to download this 2026 version, then definitely your PC will be gonna be made. So please don't try this on low end PCs, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> your PC will definitely boom or so if i want to use the preview version of dotnet 10 so just you have to do one thing okay just uh, like if you uh, open the visual studio 22 and interface uh, is looking like this just click continue without code okay and uh, the the empty x uh, solution x has been there just where go to tools options okay after this just search here preview okay because right now we are using dotnet 10 uh, preview version pre preview sdk version okay so we and if you if you want to use the dotnet 10 huge features and if you want to practice uh, hands-on practice uh, on dotnet 10 then then you must uh, have to uh, check this uh, option use previews of dotnet sdk and it requests a restart of visual studio okay so uh, I, I will just close this visual studio again i'll open this 2022 version okay after this if i click click uh, create a new project okay and after this uh, i will choose the project template and, uh, it is taking some time wait a while okay and i will choose the project as we talked about wave api we'll just click the next the next after this uh, i will yeah uh, the new option is showing there dotnet 10 preview version it means that uh, you can't uh, uh, access and you can't uh, use dotnet 10 uh, full fledged uh, in visual studio 2022 
okay and if like if you want that uh, i want to use uh, its exclusive features and i want to use these features uh, for production ready purposes or uh, production ready applications then you should have uh, visual studio 2026 on your pc uh, then you then you have, will have the power of then you will have the uh, ability to use .NET 10 exclusive feature and uh, it comes with the long term support okay and uh, next video i will create regarding dr 10 exclusive feature but in the preview uh, version in the preview segment okay so please wait uh, for uh, for a few days uh, a new video will definitely come to you regarding dr 10 exclusive feature uh, and i will just uh, create the dotnet sp dotnet core web api application in the dotnet 10 okay so uh, i so here is the main agenda of my today's video that uh, how to use the uh, .NET 10 SDK .NET 10 applications in Visual Studio 2022 but it but it only allow you, you know, to use a preview version of .NET 10 okay you can't use LTS version of uh, .NET 10 in, in 2022 version okay so uh, don't worry guys I will definitely come with a uh, new feature uh, new video with a dotted and exclusive features okay and uh, let's see uh, what is showing there yeah it is showing dotnet 10 okay so target framework is dotnet 10 so definitely we will have some advantage of uh, uh, to see uh, of exclusive feature of dotnet 10 okay and i will definitely come with uh, this uh, new video okay regarding dotnet 10 new features so I just want to remind you that please subscribe my youtube channel hit the like button and share this video to your friends your colleagues and your network as well and share this video to your those friends those colleagues who are claiming that yeah we can use dotnet and application for production purposes for production id applications uh and in the uh, in the business video 2022 no it's not possible and and microsoft doesn't allow you okay and uh, if you are like if someone says that then just reply back that uh, bro it's uh, like you are using preview version not lts version of dotnet 10 okay so till then take care guys bye bye have a good day okay bye guys